Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You are now watching a Zona film review. Today, we are going to review one of the best action movies and Christmas movies ever made Die Hard. This movie is well known to have the perfect script and it's for its snappy one liners. Yippee motherfucker. And its endless goals that all add up in the end. The very well shot action scenes and the right combination of comedy and action help push this movie to the top of the list. At the beginning, John witnesses the terrorists and sees a clear exit sign, but decides to stay, which pushes the plot forward. As the plot progresses, we see that John is locked and loaded with his rifle, his pistol, and his C4 explosives. He's looking pretty good. Us, the audience, thinks that he's about to kill every single terrorist in the building and do it very well. Next time you have a chance to kill someone, don't hesitate. Thanks for the advice. And everyone in the movie. Throughout the next minutes, John starts to become unarmed and is left with two bullets in his gun. This is what makes the ending so perfect. Change of character. This movie is two hours long. Within this two hours, John completely changes as a person. In the beginning of this movie, John still is a badass officer but isn't happy where he is in life. His wife moved with his kids to California and left him behind while he stays in New York because he is a cop for the New York Police Department. Who can blame him for not being happy with his life? I mean, his wife went by her maiden name at the office, so he just wants his wife to take him back. Throughout the film, this completely changes. John is a very flawed character, but throughout the movie, he redeems himself. We really want to see him succeed throughout the movie. This could also be because he's a lovable guy when he cracks the perfect one-liners. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. The one-liners aren't just the writers trying to be funny, they actually relate to the situation. Hans Gruber Hans is called a terrorist, and I really don't believe that this is the case. I think he just wants the money. This isn't Dr. Evil fisking for world domination, it's just a thief who really wants money. Sure, the methods that he uses are very questionable, but he still doesn't want to terrorize the world. Do it Takagi. Oops. Hans doesn't once allow John to beat him for any dumb reason. Hans and his crew are very good at what they do and well organized. Hans isn't scared to improvise, unlike the movies made in the modern times. If one thing goes wrong in modern movies, the villain's plan is ruined. That's why Die Hard is so great. Die Hard is more realistic and shows that villains can actually improvise. I never knew that. The scene where Hans pretends to be a hostage shows so much about both characters. It shows that John isn't very trusting to put a bullet in the gun for hostage Hans. This also shows that Hans can act fast and recuperate quickly if something goes wrong. John pushes himself to his limits and towards the end of the movie he is very bloody, broken glass stuck in every part of his body. John couldn't be caught slacking because this task at hand requires his full attention and effort to succeed. When most most action movies are rewatched and maybe less satisfying because you know what's gonna happen. This isn't the case for Die Hard. Die Hard improvises in many ways to keep the audience entertained throughout. John is trying to save his wife. John is trying to contact the police. Hans is trying to open the safe. Hans is trying to kill John. Hans is trying to find the detonators. The reporter's trying to get the story. The FBI's trying to stop the terrorist. Cop Al is trying to help John get out alive. Everybody's got something to do in this movie, whether they achieve what they're trying to do, the writers give them something new to do. These are all the reasons why Die Hard is a great movie.